Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. This video is going to be another SQL tutorial and we're going to be looking at how to rename tables or columns within the database. So this is a common problem that I'm sure we've all come across. We've wrote out a create statement, we've created some objects within the database and they're not actually named success correctly. So as we can see here, I've just executed this query to create this table. Uh, I wanted it to be called customer details, but I've misspelled customer details. I've got a column here, date of birth, which I wanted to be called DOB, and I've accidentally named it DBO due to a typing error. And I've also got a primary key constraint here. Uh, which will generate a clustered index for the table and I've missed the E out of customer there. So we're going to be looking at how we can rename these objects. We don't want to have to drop them and recreate them. And in this scenario we'll call upon a system store procedure called SP rename. Um, what that does is it allows us to change the name of an object. We can rename columns, tables, uh, databases, index, constraints and statistics. The permissions that we must have for this are alter permissions on the object in question. So if we're looking at a table we need, an alter, we need alter permissions on that table. And I've just put there a note to say a warning will be displayed which will become apparent when we go through some examples. We're back in SQL Server now and we're going to begin with the table because the table is the most simple syntax. I'll just touch upon what I mean by system store procedure. So if I open up our system databases, open master, open programmability, store procedures and then system store procedures, these are all the store procedures that are built into SQL Server that we can take advantage of. Now, admittedly, most of these you probably won't use within your lifetime of working with SQL Server. There is a massive amount of store procedures within here. Uh, but if I scroll down to here, we're going to be looking at this one, sys.sp underscore rename. So that's built into SQL Server and is part of the master database. You can add uh, new system store procedures, but I wouldn't recommend ever messing around with the master database. And if you do make any changes to it, make sure you always back it up first of all. I've now opened up the table names for the bookshop database so we can see in there our table has been created with the incorrect name and we want to address that. So how we do that is we're going to go ahead and look at our system store procedure because it's a store procedure. We're going to start off with exec or execute. The two are interchangeable within SQL Server, both do exactly the same thing. So we go into exec sp underscore rename. And then it comes up with a little help box here to say object name nvarcher 1035 characters. Next parameter is going to be our new name. And the third parameter is going to be our object type. So we'll start off initially with our object type we're going to look at. And in this case it's going to be our customer details table but we must also give the schema name so in this case we're not using schemas within this database so it's just DBO database object and then we put in the existing name of our table and comma and then what we want to do is put in our new name. Now we don't need to indicate the schema name at this point, we just want our new name of our table. And that is simply going to be customer details spelt correctly. Now what you'll notice about working with, sorry, renaming tables is that we don't actually have to indicate the object type. So this store procedure by default goes to the parameter of table. So we're going to go ahead and highlight this statement here and execute that 
and you'll see that how as I mentioned in the introduction to this video we'll be given a warning and this warning is really relevant well it's a caution actually so changing any part of an object name could break scripts and store procedures which makes sense so if we've got any other objects such as store procedures created that reference this table and it references the table with the incorrect name we will need to go and amend all those references it's a good idea if you spot a mistake to change this as soon as possible otherwise you will end up there's too many objects created that reference this table you can't go back and change it in all areas well you could but it would be a lot of work I'm sure all of us within our work lives haven't got the time to do that because there's no benefit other than really readability so it's always better to make sure it's correctly named in the first place so we've executed that query now I'm just going to refresh our table list under the bookshop database and we can see there we've got our customer details table named correctly now if I have a look at the columns within that table we can see our next problem is our should be DOB column but it's accidentally called DBO so again we're going to go ahead and write I'll just write this as a separate statement so again exec SP underscore rename and in this case we can now refer to our new table name so that's already been changed so we're going to say DBO again we start with the schema name then we want our table name which is the parent object in this case customer details dot DBO and then we're going to go ahead and just give our new column name which is DOB again we don't need to put the schema or the parent object name but then we need our third parameter which is going to be column I'll go ahead and highlight just this individual query now and execute that again we displayed the same warning message I'll just press control R to remove the results grid and I'm going to refresh the columns and we can see there our DOB column is named as we expected we're going to have a little bonus as part of this video where we're going to be looking at this primary key clustered index we've created so although the title of the video is tables and columns we're going to look at other objects as well so if I just minimize the columns list for this table and open up indexes we can see here we've got our E missing from our customer index so we're going to go ahead and address that and again as before we're going to write out exec SP underscore rename and in this case it's going to be DBO customer details dot PK underscore customer without the E underscore cust underscore ID comma and we're going to rename this to PK customer I'll just scroll down the page cust underscore ID and the object type is going to be index so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that now and execute that statement and again we've got the same caution and if I just refresh our index list over in object explorer we can see now that our index is correctly named I hope you have enjoyed that video uh, so it's a problem we come across all the time we're not perfect we do misspell things so that is one way we can rename objects in the database do check out my other videos on the channel if you haven't already do subscribe as well and hit that notification button to be made aware of when I do upload videos let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks a lot for watching